Hello, my name is John Doyle, and uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of the mystery of triplets on guitar, well, triplets on any uh, picking instrument. So I'm going to play a tune called the Floating Crowbar, and then break it down a wee bit. Okay. Three. There you go. That was called a floating crowbar. I learned that from a great album of Artie McGlynn's, who's passed away now, sadly. But uh, it was called McGlynn's Fancy, and it was one of the first times that guitar players or a guitar player started to play traditional Irish tunes on the guitar with a flat pick. And so, and so I kind of learned a lot from him about how to how to play tunes, and then from other people like a lot of banjo players, you know, various picking instruments, mandolin players uh, that in the scene, in the Irish scene. So let me break this down for you a little bit. Just to do like a, a classic triplet on a guitar in D. So this tune is a perfect example of how pipers would use this, how pipers would play it. Um, it's kind of going from the A to the D. And this is the simplest way of doing it, it's a tr straight triplet. So A to D. So it's now, it's, instead of three notes, it's four notes. So we think of it as, or five notes really, the A string going down, G string going down, I should say. G string with the, your first finger on the second fret, like on the start of a D. G. And then that's going down with your pick. And then you're either going to go down, down, up, down, or up, down, up, down depending on how you feel about those things. If you like cross-picking or not. I kind of tend to do it different, bo different ways depending on the tune. So, so if we're going to do it really slowly... And you keep on doing that ad nauseum for a long time and annoy everybody. And you're holding your pick. It depends on how hard that pick is. You know, I tend to use a softer pick. This one is actually a little bit harder than usual, but I still angle it slightly so that when I hit the triplet, I'm angled ever so slightly to give it a harder edge. And so down, down, up, down, or down, up, down. So. So it's down, down, up, down, down. Now, to make it a little slightly bit more authentic and make have more a little bit more rhythm in it, we put a little bit of dirt in the middle of the triplet. And right in there. So you're playing it on the F sharp, but you're just tapping it and just kind of creating a dampened note. So it could be anywhere on the guitar, really. But because you have your third finger right on that fourth fret of the D string, you it's the easiest thing to do from there. And break that down slowly. Like that. So that's a classic triplet. And we'll do one more, which is a, a moving triplet. So we'll go from the, the same A to D, F sharp, G, D. Yeah. 
So this time, you're kind of doing the same A and then and two notes on the F sharp. So the triplet itself is on the F sharp to the G. So F F G A. Basically like that. And then you can work those with the, all the other uh, strings. And so those are the two uh, triplets in D. So hope that helps a little bit.